how to be alone together using Zoom. Zoom is a free product that you can use to reach out to family and friends across the country, across the world, or for business. And it's a program that allows you to see everybody who's attending the meeting. Now, let me explain to you what exactly it is. What is Zoom? Zoom is a web-based video conferencing tool with a tool, a, cool, a local desktop client, and a mobile app that allows users to meet online with or without video. Use, Zoom users can choose to record sessions, collaborate on projects, and share or annotate one another's screen, all with one easy-to-use platform. Is Zoom free to use? Zoom offers a full-feature basic plan for free with unlimited meetings. Try Zoom for as long as you like. There is no trial period. Your basic plan has a 40-minute time limit on meetings with three or more total participants. Now, you could have 50 people, or you could have every member of your family all on the same time. So it gives you high-definition video conferencing, mobility, and web meetings. How to avoid the time limit? You know, it says 40 minutes. Every video chat service has its limitation, and Zoom isn't some exception to that rule. The biggest problem new Zoom users might face as they try to stay in touch with friends and family in the 40-minute time limit on the free video calls, they just won't work for most of us. The good news is there are a few ways to get around this, and you don't have to pay any more money for most of them. This is truly anecdotal, and I've hosted multiple two- to four-hour calls recently that never ended despite the fact that I don't pay for Zoom. The company has lifted the restrictions entirely in China and for schools in the U.S., but regular folks in the States may be able to get away with long calls if they take a chance. If you do get kicked off, the easiest thing to do is just start another call and invite all the same people back to it. If this is too much work for you, $15 gets you a month of calls with no limits, regardless of how you choose to do it. Circumventing the 40-minute limit is pretty easy. So there are ways to get around it. We were on a call the other day, uh, almost four hours, and we just kept rebooting and getting another message across, a new meeting. Zoom settings. In the video section of the meetings menu, you might notice something called Touch Up My Appearance. According to Zoom support website, this puts up a soft focus over the image you output to other users to make your skin look better. Pretty neat, huh? Seriously, though, I assume at least one person out there will find this useful. As a person who is frequently not thrilled with the way they look over a webcam, I totally get it, and will be using this feature until further notice. Nobody wants teleconferencing to be the only way to interact with their friends, but we're here, and we have to do the best with what we have. How to copy meeting link. In Zoom preferences you menu, you will find a small box that you can check to save yourself a few seconds every time you start a Zoom call for your friends. Behold, one of the first choices in the general area of the settings menu that's turned off by default, but those of us who like to take initiative and start Zoom calls for our friends will appreciate it. Instead of having to click through the invite menu to find a link to post in the group chat, turning that option on will copy it to your clipboard as soon as you start the meeting. Step one, go to Zoom website and sign into your account. If you don't have an account, follow the steps to create one. Once you're signed in, hover over host a meeting and then choose to create a meeting with video on, video off, or screen share only. On section two, once you kick off your first meeting, the Zoom client will download. Open the install and follow the instructions, installation instructions. In this example, we choose to host the meeting with video on. Now, one of the great things about Zoom is you can see everyone in the meeting by choosing gallery settings. You know, on, on FaceTime, you could only see one person at a time. But here, as you can see in this picture, there's... Uh, uh, let's see, four, eight, 16 people in one meeting.
Step three, another important step is to test your audio and video. You'll have this option each time you start a meeting. Click on test speaker and microphone to kick off the process. You'll have the option to test and configure your speakers and your microphone. If either doesn't work immediately, select the proper speaker and or microphone from the drop down menu. Once you confirm that your audio is working, you can join the meeting. How to invite people. Since you created the meeting, you have control over a few features. First, you can invite participants to the meeting. To do so, click on Invite, and you will be presented with a choice of which email client service to use. In this case, the default client Windows Mail was used. An email will be composed with the meeting information. Just add your desired recipient. Another way to invite people to your meeting is by sending them to meeting, uh, the meeting ID shown at the top of the window. Look for a nine-digit code. Lastly, you can click Copy URL, which will give you the full link to share with others. How to join a Zoom meeting. There are two ways to join a Zoom meeting. The host should provide either a link or a meeting ID. If it's the full link, just paste it into your web browser and you're on your way. If you are provided a meeting ID, just head over to the Zoom Us Join. For there, you just paste it from there, just paste in the meeting ID. If you haven't set Zoom up yet, then follow the same instructions as the beginning of this guide. Once you set up, you'll have the same option to join the meeting with audio and to test and figure your audio setting. Once you're in the meeting, you'll have the same uh, some of the same options at the meeting host, but without the administrative function. You can kick off a chat, record the meeting, invite other participants, share your screen, and view a list of participants. You can also mute your audio and stop your video. I hope you found this interesting and informative, and you take advantage of this free program to reach out to people who you might have uh, not seen in a while, or co-workers uh, you're not seeing because of the, uh, the current epidemic. Uh, so please share uh, this information with everybody on your email list and everybody in your world. This is a great program, and I hope you take advantage of it. Subscribe, like, and share. Like us on Facebook. Uh, click the subscribe bell to be notified every time we put out a new video. I hope you're well. I hope you stay healthy. And we'll see you on the next video. Bye-bye.